Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Monday 10 minute training. I'm Dr. Rob Van Bergen, and today I want to talk about the role of supplements in pain resolution. Now, I believe wholeheartedly that a diet focused on healthy organic foods will yield enough nutrients that many people can avoid supplementation altogether. The body better assimilates these foods and gets the nutrients from the foods than it does what we put into it in uh, a supplement form. However, I also understand that this is an idealistic mindset and that access to good quality nutrition stuffed foods is for many people not a possibility. And that the only way to truly get this ideal diet is not only to grow and raise your own food, but it's to do so on nutrient rich land and soil. And we have a lot of issues getting that across the world today. Um, and this is even more so a problem for people dealing with long term chronic pain, because these people, uh, well, it's hard for people in chronic pain to be able to put in the activity required to grow all of the food and put all of that work in that's needed to get that. So it, it is an idealistic mindset. And for this reason, supplements can definitely be useful. These offer targeted support that our regular diet might not fully provide due to all of the reasons that I just mentioned and more. And while a healthy diet is important, supplements can kind of fill in the gaps and offer specific benefits that contribute to pain resolution. And the first one of these supplements that I really, really like that I'm going to talk about today is turmeric or curcumin. Now, this one is something that you may not get in your natural diet because it's often in more Eastern cooking that it's included. But this is kind of a natural wonder, and it has remarkable anti-inflammatory properties. It's absolutely amazing for pain relief. Whether it's consumed in its original form as a supplement or be incorporated into golden milk, uh, turmeric curbs inflammation, and it offers respite from discomfort. However, a crucial note is warranted here because turmeric's absorption can be actually quite lackluster unless it's paired with black pepper and healthy fat. Now, there's an issue here. Black pepper can often aggravate autoimmune disease, making it an anti-inflammatory that in turn produces inflammation. So here, I recommend our curcumin, our Santa Essentials curcumin, rather than risk the black pepper issue causing flare-ups, we actually cut black pepper out completely and simply increase the dose of curcumin massively and cram it all into a one-a-day pill. Now, the goal here is that we ensure the absorption of the optimum amount of curcumin, which is or turmeric, which is not normally a huge amount that you actually need, but then we bypass the need for black pepper because we put such a large amount in that the body is able to absorb what it needs. Still, healthy fats are good for absorption one way or the other. The next supplement I want to talk about today is Devil's Claw Root. Now, Devil's Claw stands as kind of a time-honored natural soother for pain. And this supplement offers uh, solace usually to low back pain and common arthritis discomfort. It also has uric acid lowering properties, which really means it's helpful for people with gout as well, because this can break up the crystals um, and kind of then in, in a way presents a multifaceted approach to pain resolution. Now, capsicum, uh, this is all about kind of harnessing the heat of uh, fiery peppers. And this is essentially uh, going to help provide some anti-inflammatory uh, which kind of goes a little bit against what you would expect, right? Because it's increasing the heat. But whether it's used topically or embraced as an oral supplement, the ability here to soothe joint and muscle pain is undeniable. It really does work. Glucosamine and chondroitin are joint champions. And this dynamic duo of these two here takes center stage in our pursuit of joint health. These are often sourced from marine life, and these supplements protect and lubricate joints and ligaments. Uh, MSM, uh, unveiling this supplement's power is something, it, something that people don't talk about a lot here, but this is like an organic sulfur that is found within the MSM, and it gains prominence as an anti-inflammatory agent because of this, uh, this nutrient that is provided that we often lack in our diet. Now, beyond dietary sources, um, which we can often, you know, see diminished by cooking. Uh, this supplement also preserves joint health and reduces pain as well. So it's a great anti-pain supplement to consider. 
Uh, willow bark, white willow bark, this is an aspirin alternative, right? This is a nature's alternative to aspirin. Um, and it's something that people probably are very, very familiar with. Uh, this is for easing general pain, and it also offers relief from headaches as well. Many people choose to consume this as a tea, which is one of my preferred methods for this, um, but capsule form works too. And it really, it kind of embraces the pain relief aspect without the potential side effects associated with traditional aspirin. Um, so it's a great, great option as well. Uh, Boswellia, which is a frankincense in a way, um, it finds its way into the realm of pain management as well as a natural anti-inflammatory. So as you can see, everything here is about reducing the inflammation within the body. Caffeine is also great for pain. Uh, this is a vasodilator, so it's essentially going to uh, widen constricted blood vessels and therefore enhance blood flow. Uh, which is a boon for conditions arising from vessel constriction. So any kind of neuropathy can be uh, getting some benefit from caffeine, um, as well as any organ dysfunction that's leading to pain as well. Uh, and then omega-3 fatty acids. So these are really, really potent. And the anti-inflammatory properties of these are why we really want to see them used. Whether it's sourced from food or supplements, omega-3s actually work amazingly to reduce pain and inflammation. Uh, now, we do prefer a, uh, a high DHA and a low EPA because DHA, when it comes to this, it has uh, more anti-inflammatory properties for proven anti-inflammatory. Now, usually it's the other way around. So do keep that in mind when you're shopping around for your, uh, your omega-3s. But these offer some amazing relief. They're also good for your brain. So probiotics. So this is not something many people would assume has a role to play in uh, dealing with uh, body pain and general pain. But even though they work on the gut, this means that they are not just working on helping the gut itself, but on the whole body and reducing that inflammation. Gut inflammation in the body, often caused by food sensitivities or, or illness or disease, uh, will spread throughout the body and you will experience pain kind of across the body that's rooted in the gut. This is very, very key with autoimmune problems. So by nurturing your gut health and putting the positive bacteria in there, uh, probiotics are really helping to contribute to an environment of reduced inflammation for the whole body. Alpha lipoic acid. Um, and GLA, gamma linolenic acid. Whew. These are a pair as well that are really, really useful. And essentially what these do is they, they get in there as antioxidants and they safeguard cells from damage while diminishing inflammation in the body. So these supplements are extremely useful to kind of boost that protection that we need to stop the inflammation progressing through the body. Uh, ginger root is actually a natural NSAID alternative as well. And though many people use this in cooking, it, it's great for this. It's great for getting um, some inflammation down. Now, what it does is it's mirroring these pain medications without the side effects as well. Some people will drink it in a tea, right? Uh, people will include ginger in food um, and it can be taken as a supplement as well. But while, what it's doing is reducing that inflammation in the body um, and is particularly good for the stomach if we're dealing with gut inflammation as well. So it's kind of playing a role there on both sides of things through body and through the gut and that idea of spreading the inflammation throughout it. So we've got loads of supplements out there. There are tons of them and uh, many at our disposal that we can access easily. And strategic implementation here becomes essential, right? Tailing, tailoring to your own unique needs. What can you tolerate? I've had some people that can't tolerate certain supplements at all. There's gene changes that can make this happen. Um, and then there's just food intolerances that can make it happen as well. So finding a healthcare professional to work with on tailoring a safe, an effective journey toward pain relief through supplementation is great. Now, some of our most popular supplements are included in our Santa Therapeutics Anti-Inflammatory Support Kit, which is immensely popular among our clients. What this kit does is it works to deliver strong doses of turmeric, omega-3, and enzymes to deal with inflammation within the body. 
One of the supplements in there, our Sana Resolve blend, contains an ingredient that was clinically proven to reduce joint pain and stiffness within seven to 10 days. Now, you don't see a clinical uh, trial very often at all in supplementation. But this is one ingredient that we didn't want to lose. So here's what you get in the anti-inflammatory bundle. You get about 5,000 milligrams of turmeric. It's a little under. I think it's about 4,800. And that's per capsule. So you're getting a lot of turmeric in there. As I said, you want a high amount of turmeric to negate the fact that we do not want to use the black pepper. You're getting a natural eggshell membrane. Now, this is the, one of the secret ingredients to the joints. Uh, and you get a 50 milligrams of that as well. You get bromelain, serapeptase, glucosamine, which we just talked about, and chondroitin. You also get some hydrolyzed fish collagen. It's not a huge amount, but it's a small amount in there that we've seen can actually help heal scars, build up bone strength, even stabilize blood sugar and fight bacteria. So this is a huge boon as well. And then, of course, we have our omega-3s in the form of EPA, which is only about 250 milligrams a day. But with DHA, we have nearly 3,000 milligrams per dose in there. Now, we offer this supplement bundle in both a one-month or a two-month supply as well. So what's the right approach here? Well, first off, uh, you've got to acknowledge the fact that selecting the right supplements, incorporating them into your routine, it does require careful consideration. It's very easy for people to have a massive pile of supplements that they use every day. And I think that there is definitely such a thing as over supplementation, which I'll talk about in a minute here. But first off, consult your healthcare provider, right? If you're on medications or you're dealing with severe conditions, uh, do talk to your doctor because supplements can have interactions with meds. Um, and it's quite common, right? You're taking a natural thing that's going to affect your body and you're taking a synthetic thing that's going to affect your body and they can mix and match in bad ways, sometimes good ways. So do make sure that it's safe to, uh, to work uh, with first. So talk to your healthcare provider there. Uh, number two is that quality matters, right? You want to have good, reputable sources for supplements. You want the purity to be good. Um, really, just avoid purchasing from unreliable sources. I tend to say, you know, if you can find it in a grocery store, just like a regular grocery store, it's probably not a great quality supplement. Uh, you're going to go to a health food store or buy from someone that you trust that you know is producing good quality uh, supplements. Uh, and number three would be a personalized approach, right? Create that supplementation plan tailored to your needs specifically. What is it that you're trying to achieve? Consider your existing health conditions and look at any potential overlaps as well. As a bonus, do remember that over supplementation is possible. Supplements can cancel each other out. They can interact. You can be taking so much supplement that you're really creating a dependence on your body. There's a lot of things that we, we want to pay attention to and whether we do talk about here at uh, Pain-Free for Life fairly often. So supplements, they're a valuable asset on the journey to pain resolution. That's something people should strongly consider if they're not already doing it. But by incorporating the supplements thoughtfully, consulting with healthcare professionals, you are taking proactive steps towards achieving that pain-free, healthy life. Do remember, pain resolution is a holistic endeavor. It encompasses a healthy diet, strategic supplementation, exercise, lifestyle changes. It's not something that we can expect to just happen overnight, uh, but it's something that we can get started on today in very small doses. It's very easy to get started. So for seven more supplements that can help with chronic pain, I'm going to encourage you to check out this week's blog on Thursday, which we'll be releasing. Um, and we'll even share uh, some more insights into those things as well. Uh, so, all right, everyone, thank you for joining me today. I do hope to see you next week for another Monday 10-Minute Training. Take care.